I thought they, they had an excellent game, good performance. They moved the ball around. You know, we keep talking about all the players that were missing, and then tonight you really couldn't tell, could you? I mean, Jackson really, he and Zach are doing so well in the, in the center backs. Uh, Eric Alexander, you know, holding, holding in midfield, looked very, very comfortable. So, you know, the team is really playing well, and I thought Dario Sala had a, had a very good game as well. So the team is playing excellent. The, the other thing is we just won the, the Brimstone Cup again. So it stays in our trophy case. And that, that was a big thing that we talked about this week. Uh, on a uh, single season record, tying with the MLS, 18 games unbeaten. Jeff Cunningham ties the MLS uh, scoring leader. Mm -hmm. And we just clinched the playoff bid. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, what a great night for FC Dallas. You know, it's, it's definitely a relief. You know, the, uh, the feeling in the uh, locker room after the game was, uh, you know, a little bit of relief and a lot of excitement. Um, you know, clearly, uh, you know, the unbeaten streak is nice, but, you know, our goal from, you know, day one of preseason was, you know, make the playoffs. And, you know, we knew we were a good team. We knew we had enough, uh, you know, talented players to get there. And, um, you know, it's, it's obviously shown, you know, especially our depth with so many injuries and suspensions. Um, it just feels good to, uh, to know that we're in the playoffs with a couple games to go. We talked about all week, you know, we wanted to clinch a playoff spot in front of our, our own fans, especially, uh, you know, with the Brimstone Cup as well. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it means a lot to our fans and it means a lot to us. So, um, you know, to clinch in front of our fans, especially, you know, winning the Brimstone Cup is certainly, you know, a great feeling and, and one that I think our fans will, will definitely appreciate and cherish, especially because we haven't been to the playoffs in a couple of years. And, um, you know, everyone's looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting atmosphere. Um, we know we're going to get a really good crowd, you know, no matter who we play. We've worked so hard in, t in the last two years to be in this position to clinch a playoff. And I've lost a lot, a lot of sleep um, uh, where I'm, you know, I'm thinking about things. Uh, been very stressful. Things didn't, didn't go very well in the beginning. Uh, many of you continue to support me, which, was, which I'm always grateful for. But, you know, till you get the right players on the field, that are committed to the team's objectives and committed to each other, um, uh, these, these, are th these things won't happen. And, and I think right now it's, it's all about the team, the team chemistry, how hard work they put in for each other. I mean, how many, how many teams in a league can lose uh, four to five starters and still find ways of getting points? Uh, you, you remember the word I always use was we want to develop a culture of winning, and I think we have that here now.